Welcome to Unit 1. This week we are going to focus on the Disciples model. Now you will read this in the Disciples Handbook by Dr. Yant. Um, so you, you should have already read it and understood a bit about it. Uh, I do want to go back through it um, a little bit here and just introduce it to you uh, again. Um, you will see that in Dr. Yant's model for discipleship, you, we have the the Holy Spirit, which is encompasses the whole thing. It's the, the circle in which all discipleship takes place. But, but we're looking at the foundational pillars of this model um, are the Bible and the needs of our students. And so we, we want to focus on certainly God's Word and how, um, how does God's Word and our learners uh, connect? What are their needs? Now, God's Word is unchanging. Uh, people's needs often change, but we need to look at the needs of our students and then um, look at the Bible as well. Because you, if you have a group of very seasoned, um, mature Christian, uh, their uh, walk with Christ is a bit more mature. Their learning needs are different. Their, um, their understanding of God's Word is different. And so you need to understand the needs of your group um, as much as possible um, when you engage in a learning experience with them. So that's the foundational stones, the Bible and the needs of your students. And then we are looking at the pillars of the model, which are thinking, relating, and feeling. And as you will uh, see as we study this um, this week, um, we, we need to have an a, a good distribution, if you will, among the thinking, the relating, and the feeling. If you get too heavy in any one of those areas, you can have a class that is skewed in a direction that, that is not um, the best learning experience for your students, but it, it's, it, it can border on uh, too much in the thinking area. It can become you know, real dogmatic, uh, a, a very uh, unfeeling, and um, not connecting to students uh, emotionally. On the other hand, if you focus too much on the feeling, then you just have a therapy group and you're not really looking at the consistent, solid foundation of God's Word. You know, it's, it's not all just about feelings, it's about um, thinking as well. And, and then that center column of relating is just as important as the others. Now, certainly the pinnacle of all of that is the growth in Christ that we will experience. And we experience all of that within that circle um, surrounded by the Holy Spirit. I hope you enjoyed this, this uh, study this week. I, I think that the insight that we can gain from looking at the Disciples model helps us to lay a really good foundation for the rest of this semester and the study in teaching the Bible. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call.